Hey class, today is going to be 31-5 and we're going to be looking at solving triangles. So today's, today's objective, you guys are going to solve right triangles. Now a common expression we use in trigonometry is that phrase solving triangles. Now when we solve a triangle, we are determining all of the parts of the triangle. Namely, we're stating all three angles and all three sides. I'm going to say that again. We have to explicitly state Okay, we have to explicitly state all three angles and all three sides. So for here, in this 30, 60, 90 triangle, even though I label everything here and I say this is 30, 60, that's 90 degrees, if that's t, this is 2t, and this is going to be t root 3, that's not the answer. I am not done. I have not explicitly stated all three angles and all three sides. So I have to say angle A is 30 degrees, angle B is 60 degrees, angle C is 90 degrees. And then the side BC, which is this side here, that's going to be 10. Side AC, which is this side here, is going to be 10 root 3. And this side here, AB, is going to be 20 inches. I have to explicitly state them. That right there is my answer. Now given this triangle here, Instead of saying like the A, B, and B, C, and all that different stuff, it's so much easier to kind of define them in terms of as it relates to its angles. And so instead of saying side B, C, I can say this is side A. Now why is it side A? Because it's opposite angle A. Just like I can say A, C is going to be B because this is opposite of angle B. And then A, B is going to be C because it's opposite of angle C. And so that's why that's going to be side C. And so that's actually going to be a, a more convenient way for us to be able to label our different sides and angles. So for this example here, to solve the triangle, uh, it's a really good idea to kind of see and go through, are there any special relationships? And I noticed that this is a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And so there's my 30, 60, 90. And so this is side C, which is going to equal 6. And this is side B which is going to equal 3 root 3. And so now that I've done that, I can label it. I can say angle A is 30 degrees, measure of angle B is 60 degrees, measure of angle C is 90 degrees, side A is 3, side B is 3 root 3, and side C is 6. Now for this one here, we have to check to see is there any sort of form of uh, special relationship. In this case, there's not. There's not a 30, 60, 90, or 45, 45, 90. And so the missing pieces here is going to be side C, which is this, and side B, which is this. And I don't know what this angle is here. So I need to go through and find ways to be able to find that. And so given so far I do have this measure of angle A, well, I can find B by doing 90 degrees minus 17 degrees or 180 degrees minus those two, right? That's another way of doing that. And so this is going to give me 73 degrees. And then my C is still going to be 90. But now how do I find B and C? And so I'm going to have to use like SOHCAHTOA to be able to do that. So in this case, if I did like the cosine, actually cosine won't even work. If I did the tangent of 17 degrees equals 9, so opposite over adjacent, multiply both sides by b, divide both sides by tangent of 19, I'm going to get 9 uh, b equals 9 over tangent 17 degrees. And so if I enter that into my calculator, that's going to give me about 29.44. And then to find c, I could do the sine of 17 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. And so once again, multiply both sides by C, divide both sides by sine of 17. C is going to equal 9 over sine of 17. And if you enter that in your calculator, beep, bop, beep, you're going to get about 30.78 kilometers. Now it's always a good idea to round to about two decimal places. You're going to get a more accurate answer if you do so. For this next one here, okay, I don't have side B, I don't have angle A, and I don't have angle B. So I need to find those. Now a way to find angle A is I can say, well, I have the sine of A equals opposite over hypotenuse. And so if I do the sine inverse to both sides, 
that's going to give me angle A. And so if I enter that into my calculator, it's going to give me approximately 31.97 degrees. And so to find an angle B, if I did 90 minus 31.97 degrees, that's going to give me about 58.03 degrees. And then the last to find side B, if I did the tangent of 31.97 degrees equals opposite over adjacent, which means B is going to equal 9 over tangent of 31.97 degrees. I'm going to get about 14.42 feet. And so this is my answer. This is me solving the triangle. Now let's look at a couple of more complicated answers or problems. So to solve this one, okay, I need to go through and I need to fill out as much information as I can. And so if that's 8 centimeters, well this is a 45-45, so that's 8 centimeters. And this is going to be 8 root 2 centimeters. This will be 8 root 3 centimeters. And this is going to be 16 centimeters. But there's an issue here. If it's asking me to solve the triangles, well how many triangles are there? And so going through this, there's actually one triangle here. There's my second triangle here. Oh, that's really purple. And then my third triangle is here. So I actually have three different triangles. So my first triangle, let's look at this one right here. Measure of angle A. Measure, now I have to say A, B, D, so that's going to be 60 degrees here because it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And then this angle right here is 90 degrees. Well, this side, B, D, I can't say side A now because is it this side or this side? I don't know. So I have to actually be more specific. So B, D is going to be 8 centimeters. This is going to be 8 root 3 centimeters. And this side is going to be 16 centimeters. Now for this triangle, this angle is going to be 45 this angle here is 45 and then this angle here is going to be 90. This side right here is going to be 8 centimeters, this side right here is going to be 8 centimeters, and this side right here is going to be 8 root 2 centimeters. And then now the larger triangle. So BAC, which is this angle, is going to be 30 degrees. And then we have uh, BCA, which is going to be this angle, which is 45. Now to find this angle here, this is going to be 60 degrees, and this is 45 degrees. So I have to add those together, and that's going to give me 145. And then this side right here, this is 8 root 2. This side right here is 16. And I have to add these together, so I get 8 plus 8 root 3 to find this side here. Now this last one. To find BCD, we have a few issues here. Um, the main reason is because with the given information that I have, it's really difficult for me to go through and find a value. I mean, it's asking me to solve this triangle. Sure, I can go through and I can say, yep, this is going to be 75 degrees, and I know my 90, but I don't have any side. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. And so I'm stuck. I, I can't find uh, when I have an equation of two variables. So what we need to do is if we, if we have a situation where I have an equation with two variables, I need to create an extra equation with those, two, uh, those same two variables. Because the number of very missing variables equals the number of equations we need to have to be able to find them. So the first one I'm going to say is going to be the tangent of 10 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. So this is 20 plus BC. And then the next one is going to use this degree. So this one will be tangent of 15 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. Now if you notice here, they both have CD in common. So I'm going to get CD by itself. So I'm going to multiply by BC plus 20 and by BC to both sides. And so I'm going to get, if I distribute this through, BC times tangent 10 and then 20 times tangent 10 equals CD. And this one just gives me BC tangent 15 equals CD. 
Now that they both equal the same number, I'm gonna set them equal to each other. So I'm gonna say this equals this. And that's what I did there. Now here's the next issue. Because I can't combine tangent 15 with tangent 10 to both sides, I can't just add them together. So instead of just being able to add them together, we're gonna to have to think backwards and we're going to group them together. So I still want all my BCs on one side, but I want to be able to group them together instead. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna subtract BC tangent 15 to both sides and subtract negative 20 tangent 10 to both sides. So when I did that, this cancels out, this cancels out, and so I'm gonna be left with BC, BC tangent 10 minus BC tangent 15, which is what I have here. That canceled out, so I only have the negative 20 tangent 10. And I know you're thinking, wait, why didn't, why not I just bring this to this side? You can do that. Um, I like bringing everything to the left and everything to the right. That's just my habit. So now that I have these together, we need to group them together. And so when you group them together, you have to think, well, what's in common now? Well, in this case, BC is in common, so I need to factor out my BC. And so I'm gonna be left with tangent 10 and tangent 15. And so now to get BC by itself, I need to divide both sides by this. And so dividing both sides by the tangent 10 minus tangent 15, I get this statement here. So this, I would enter in my calculator. And so entering that into your calculator, you're gonna get 38.49 feet. Now you just have to make sure that your parentheses are correct, right? This needs to be together in the denominator. Each of these needs its own like special parentheses when you go through and you do that. So now that I have what BC is, I could find what my CD is by using this equation here. So I plugged in the 38.49 to both sides and then CD is gonna give me 10.31. And so now I could create another ratio. I can just say cosine of 15 equals that opposite over hypotenuse. And so that's what I did here. And so solving for BD, I get this statement. I enter that into my calculator and I get 39.85 feet. And so I have went through and I solved this triangle. To close today's lesson, what did we learn today? We learned how to solve triangles. Now, when we solve a triangle, what are we looking to do? I want you to go ahead and leave that in the comments. Now, the very last example kind of forced us to establish important relationships to find the missing sides. Watch again. I want you to like rewind and go ahead and rewatch that example again to make sure to ask questions when we analyze in class. It is a little difficult. It's probably unlike anything you've seen before. And so because of that, let's spend some extra time analyzing. So this does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.